New at 11, road construction in Portsmouth is taking its toll on one business. When the governor announced no new tolls for the MLK extension, drivers breathed a sigh of relief. But one man says he's had no relief since construction started, and now he says his business is drying up. Ten of your sides, Matt Gregory joins us with details. Matt? Tom Nicole, more than 50 years ago, Bob Yule Tires in Portsmouth moved because of a VDOT construction project. It used to sit where what is now London Boulevard overpass is. Now the owner says 50 years later, another VDOT project has caused him huge financial headaches. I've been here since 1960 when we went in business. Mr. Yule was in business probably six or seven months when I come to work for him. More than 50 years later, David Newman owns Bob Yule Tires. He's seen the shop weather all sorts of storms, but he says this latest one may be the worst yet. Probably 40, 45 percent is, is gone. I mean, you know, most of these cars here are dealers' cars. He says when the Martin Luther King extension construction began outside his door, it cut his shop off from the main roads that brought customers to him. The way they've got the signs and stuff when it closed everything, I mean, people come up to it and they figure they can't get through, so they turn around and go the other way. VDOT has since put in this sign. Businesses are open. But look at the three roads that lead to Yule Tires, all closed or modified because of construction. Newman says people assume they aren't doing business. Of course, I put that sign up there that said we were open because people were going, just going and leaving. From tire changes to inspections or alignments, business for Bob Ewell Tires has plummeted. We lost 900, took a $900 loss last month. As far as David Newman knows, these signs are the only thing he can think of to bring folks back until the MLK extension completes in a year and a half. He just hopes this staple of Portsmouth can weather this final storm and stay open. If we can. <laughs> I mean, you just got to cut everything if you can, you know, and, and try to keep on going. Newman says before the roads closed, he would see up to 12 cars waiting most mornings for inspections. But now it's one or two, but usually none. In the newsroom, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side. Newman says on a yearly basis, his shop does around 12,000 Virginia state inspections, but he expects this year's number to be well below that.